Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Yes, it is uh, Joy Toy Warmer 40k time again. The date is Thursday, the 2nd of March 2023, and I'm looking at these six Black Templars. I believe so far we've had four, five, six, seven Black Templar releases. We've got the, the Crusader Squad, we've got the Primaris, which one? Assault one, we've got the bike, and we've got the uh, the Redemptor Dreadnought, and now we've got these six on top, which look fantastic. Let's have a quick look. I'm going to read the names poorly as I go through them, um, and I'm probably going to forget them and actually get to open them and go through them, but have a quick look. And if you do like the sort of content, want to see stuff as soon as it's uploaded, please consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of your screen. Now, you can cancel any time, so it's worth checking out even just for a month. So, first we have Emperor's Champion Roland Rolantus. Or Rolantus, maybe. Looks pretty cool in the front. Looks pretty cool in the back as well, but I wouldn't say there's anything super special to have about, but he does look quite nice. Next up, Marshall... I think it's right. Marshall Bow Baudekarath. Baudekarath, maybe? Oh, Baudekarath, maybe. Looks pretty cool. He does look like he's a semi constipated, judging by that face there. And he does come for a helmeted head, too. He does look pretty nice. Next, we get to the uh, Sword Brethren squad. We have Grambertus. Who also comes sword brethren comes in an axe. I'm not sure how that works, but um does look quite nice. The axe and that gun. I think that's a new gun, I think, for this uh line. Looks pretty cool. Little flamer, perhaps. Then we have Hum Harmond. Nice red and that gun, that sword looks pretty cool. Very similar to the Crusader squads in terms of aesthetic, obviously. Then we have Brother Wolverine. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Alberic with the uh, is it lightning claws, maybe? Or the claws? He does look nice. Possibly my favourite, because these are sort of brand new spanking parts. Looks very, very cool. And then lastly, we have Eberwolf. Or Eberwolf. Who looks quite atmospheric in that picture there. And we see him on the back there. So we've got six figures to uh, look at. I'll only do the articulation on one, maybe two, because they are going to be basically the uh, the same. Same body, just different aesthetic, a couple of different parts and different heads, perhaps. Okay, so I'm going to pause this. I'm going to be back in an instant with our first look. Stay tuned. Okay, here they are all set up. That did take a little while, uh, mainly because attaching the uh, chains to the weapons and their wrist stroke arms. They do look really cool. We'll have a close look from left to right in a moment, starting with the uh, Marshal, then Emperor's Champion, then the uh, Sword Brethren. So we'll just look at a quick accessories uh, check first. All the things I'm not showing. So they're all body two, and so they all come with the same four body two hands that we've seen before. The Marshal comes with this loose head here. This was attached as standard, but I've changed over to his uh, unhelmeted head. The Emperor's Champion doesn't come with four spare hands, he comes with two. So he comes with a right hand gripping for the sword, presumably. And he comes with a left hand, and this is holding something else. So any of you guys know what this is he is holding? Those who play the game familiar with the law, etc. Please let me know, but that does look cool. The other thing I notice is he doesn't come with a chain for his gun. So the only chain is for his sword. Okay, so let's have a look, close look from left to right. So here's the Marshal. I'm a bit disappointed with the face. It just looks like he's got his eyes closed and he's really straining to take a shit. <sighs> Come on! You know, he needs to have a laxative or something. But he does look cool. The backpack, though, is awesome with the uh, sort of skeleton with the arms through there. Go have a look at the back in a moment. Some nice details on him. Hope you can catch the details. This is 4K 60 frames a second. Turn around, see the top of the backpack. The skeleton's got the metal on there too. It does look good. Be, you know, what happens on Taobao here in China is people break things apart and they can buy parts. So if I ever see this backpack separately, I'm going to get that. <laughs> Just for that skeleton and sort of take it off or something. 
is a nice looking figure and the blue looks pretty cool on the gun and on the uh, sword there okay so come to the emperor's champion who looks a little bit different to the others because he has the owner without a cloak and this sort of armor chest armor going over the sort of white cloth there does look pretty cool head is nice sword's got the uh Oh, come on, focus on the sword. Ex oh, Excelsior on it. And it's got the uh, IRA, which is very nice. It's uh, <laughs> an IRA on it. Looks pretty nice. The gun, quite heavily uh, shaded stroke inked. Does look pretty cool too. The pauldron looks pretty cool. Backpack. I'm not sure we've seen this before. We're checking everyone's in a moment. Look, it does look nice as well. A nice shoulder again. Uh, pauldron again sorry and the sword is pretty damn nice has to be said next to the uh, sword brethren let's start with the first one here now I really don't like these chains the way they attach to the guns because it's very hard for these guys to actually grip their guns nicely the sword is not so bad they can grip that but the guns is actually quite difficult to grip Does look nice, yeah. Slightly different than the Empress Chapman on his uh, backpack to these guys. Nice pauldron. Oh, they are pretty cool. Next one, my favourite because of the claws. It's... He looks awesome. And the actual blue on the claws is pretty good. It is faded, maybe airbrushed, I'm not sure. But it does look cool nice on this part here again nice pauldrons coming around nothing to speak of really underneath the cloak looks very very cool now the last two there is a slight maybe a slight issue so those who know about these figures in the game and the lore is there a reason for this part of the back to be off center because that backpack is leaning to his left if I put his head straight that is straight you can see that is going off to the left slightly and same with the other guy with the same thing let's get a close look at the axe looks nice he does look good the gun needs a bit more inking inside there to put it in the recesses but it does look cool and very similar to the others I'm not sure if this is inserted at an angle or maybe the backpack holes aren't straight in his back. Who knows? And then the uh, last one. Same issue. It's more pronounced with him. It's not like that. It's leaning quite a lot. Listing quite a lot to the left. Or the right, but our left. Does look nice. Again, difficult to hold the gun. Look at his fingers. Not even gripping. He's, like, he's pinching it like this. Between his thumb and fingers, it's so hard, and you've got that little uh, chain part connecting there. Nice looking figure. Again, they do look good. They have such great shelf presence, especially if you've got the other. Is it Star Say Seven? Fourth. Yeah, if you've got the other seven Black Templar releases, and you're adding these uh, six in for a whopping total of thirteen, the uh, Horn Gods special number. If you're into Fantasy or Age of Sigma and Skaven, my favourite army. They will look fantastic. Great, great looking figures. Um, for articulation, I am going to look at two. Actually, I have to look at more than two. Or we can look at two or three. Let me see. I'll look at the Emperor's Champion. It is slightly different. I'll look at our guy with the claws because he's slightly different. And I'll look at the Marshal because he's slightly different. So three of them. I'll look at for articulation. I'll start with the marshal first. Let's get his uh, sword off. It's easy to take off. And this can just pushed over his hand. The little uh, rubber chain part. Yeah. Where's that sticking? There we go. And then the gun just boop, very easy again. And the chain can just be pushed over the wrist again. Okay, so martial articulation, top to bottom, uh, nozzles, turn on the back, the skeleton, does it come off? It comes off fantastic. 
So I do get one of these loose in the future. It's very easy to come off. Um, so you could turn it, I guess. Shoulders. I'm going to ratchet all the way. This one, again, on a ratchet all the way. Now, but it's going to go horribly wrong is the lateral raise. Where it's like, yeah, that's like pretty much nothing. That's really, really quite bad. Really quite poor. Come on, Joy Toy, sort out the lateral raise on your Space Marines. Uh, head forwards, backwards, side to side, and he can turn. Trunk will be underneath this cloth part. This cloth part, or this linen plastic thing, can actually be taken off. Uh, but this is going to really stop his trunk from moving. That's his waist. A trunk, there is something, but you can't really do it. But trunk and waist, you still can do. So you still get some turn and some dip. Hands are biceps, sorry. Will depend pretty much where you line up. But you can see that with this double bicep joint, he's still getting over 90 degrees, which is cool. Hands are the barbell system, which I think is the best for action figures. Hips won't go far because of the uh, sculpting on all these parts. But he's a chunky boy anyway, so he won't be doing a full splits. Forwards and backwards aren't huge either. But okay. Double knee pens, chunky legs, but look at that. He can't get tighter than that. But he's got the ugly knee syndrome you can see here. There's a thigh twist. Boots can... There's a boot turn. Do, uh, dorsiflex, sorry, tippy toe dorsiflexation, and there is a toe bend as well. Not not bad, but you know, for a chunky figure, we can't complain too much. Just that face, come on, those eyes. Okay, next we go for the Emperor's Champion. Let's uh, why no chain for this gun? I don't know. Anyway, let's get his sword off. Get that over his wrist again. There we go. So again, nozzles turn on the back. Small side to side, he can turn very well. Forwards backwards is quite small, unfortunately. Shoulders, ratchet. What came off then? I have no idea what that is there. That came off. I'll find out when that goes in a second. That goes all the way around, and that came off somewhere. I have no idea. Dear, what it even is? Where did that come from? I'll look at that in a second. Okay, arms go all the way around. Um, outwards. Again, not great. Any more than that, you'll pop it out of joint. Bicep will pretty much depend on where it's turned and the space he's got. But look at that. Well over 90 degrees. Fantastic. And the same wrist articulation to the barbell, so every direction is fine. Trunk, he can get really good backwards and forwards. Side to side, not really. He can turn, not really. But waist will go backwards and forwards and side to side and turn. So together, he gets pretty good movement in the waist. Hips, not great. Forwards is pretty impressive, to be fair. Backwards is hardly anything. There's the thigh twist. He gets a very tight leg bend again with the ugly kneecap syndrome. Boot turn, tippy toe, dorsiflexation, and toe bend we can see as well. Not bad. And then lastly, we come to the uh, claw guy. Um, the skull on top. That's come off. So that does have a unintentional turn the nozzles again turn on the backpack head left and right really good actually left and right up and down it's okay south to side is all right shoulders or oh, these pauldrons and that nozzle that's going to be really quite oh, out to the side otherwise you're going to get in the way um bicep swivel and bend bend will be small because of the chains and the claws but he still gets 90 degrees which is fantastic Wrists, same wrist, wrist system. You can actually swap the hands around. Nothing on the claws that I can see. Trunk, again, is hidden behind here, so it can be very hard to articulate. Uh, but with the trunk and waist, not bad forwards, backwards. Side to side is okay, and you can turn. Hips, probably the least out of the three. 
I've looked out of these forwards. Ah, he is struggling backwards. It's all right, to be fair. Five twist, double kneecap. Again, you've got the ugly kneecaps if you look in there. But again, he's getting over 90 degrees for a bogey figure. That is amazing. And the same feet. There's a boot turn. There's a tippy toe, dorsiflexation, flexation, and there is the toe bend. These are beautiful looking figures. They really, really are. Though not without their issues, which I've said already. Now, I've again, if anyone knows if these parts on the back are supposed to be at an angle or supposed to be straight, let me know. Because I believe it may be a production fault, but never mind. And who knows where this little part is that came off the Empress Champion? Do let me know. Where's that coming? Is it his belt? So there's a little hole for it to come off somewhere. Was it on his backpack? You know, I have to look in the picture of the back of the box and see where that came from and glue that in myself. Oh, uh, yeah. They are really nice figures, not about tiny faults. The same issue we have with the shoulders of Joy Toya 40k Space Marines, which I really wish they would fix. And it's not that difficult to fix, if I'm honest, but. I've said before many times what to do. However, I think they are cracking looking figures. Great bunch of stuff from Joy Toys. Have a quick look at their size. Get my tape measure. To the top of the head, they are all around about 12 cm, which is what Joy Toy have advertised them as. Okay, so if I compare to one of the original Black Templars here, if I grab the champion, yeah. First thing I've noticed is you look at the robes, the dirt is different. These are slightly white of a different dirt. These are similar color dirt, but the robes are slightly darker gray, perhaps. Um, the other thing is that all these guys have that neck protector, which I forgot, what, a palisade maybe? I can't remember what his name is, the protects from archery and medieval armor. His is different in, compar in comparison. Now, I can't remember the rest are like him or if any have any similar to that. Um, they are pretty much the same in most respects. Now, I would have thought that the Emperor's Champion would have had the same body here underneath because it would have been easy, easy, but no, it is different. These guys, let's have a look on this one here. To move that up, now, you see, they have just they have unpainted bodies underneath which is quite nice as well so there are there is enough new on these new guys to distinguish them from the original not just slight repaints there's new parts uh different bigger pauldrons there's some different things there are some same things too obviously and i don't think any of the helmets are exactly the same maybe this guy's helmet is the same let's have a look Yeah, this guy's helmet, the helmet is the same. So there's at least one, maybe two helmets that are the same as the uh, as the um, Crusade Squadron, Crusader Squadron. But that's nothing for us to worry about. There's enough to distinguish the the, the, um, the different releases, and I think these are actually quite good value because they do look absolutely amazing. Okay, this is the awesome show we're signing out. Saying please consider joining the Patreon link in the video description below. And check out my other videos here in YouTube. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. And consider sharing and telling your friends. I'll see you in the next video soon. Stay happy. Keep collecting. Bye-bye.